talking between these two is over. Marku's brought a couple of thousand here at least. As we get underway, Marku starting off in... Nothing on him at all, ripped through a shred of the way in yesterday, Marku. Florian looks a lot smaller, and he is a lot smaller in stature, but is actually his arm... GB squad, very well drilled. Congo looking for that right hand over the top. It's the body there from Marku. Interesting to see what is next on the horizon for him. Soon as Marco goes southpaw, then his jab got more at the start of the round as well. Squareness of stance at times, which can make it a little bit difficult for your opponent to work out exactly what it is. Sitting underneath the left eye there of Marku. Yeah, I think those were the right hands when he went south for Marku. To think about, he hesitated, the Albanian, and then Congo just stepped off to the left-hand side. With a blood from the right eye of Congo. I think there is, yeah. I think there's a little bit of damage underneath. Checking the attacks, he's, he's trying to pressure Congo, but Congo is not really... Try and finish around strong here and back Congo up. He tries to come back with the right hand. Fight really starting to heat up here. Absolutely, closing stages of round two. Telling uh, the people at the board um, over on the other side. Range is key here for Congo. Yeah, he wants to fight. He wants this fight for a long range. Whether Marku can sneak his way in and land that shot at mid distance. Getting too close to let him do that. Does look to get a hold of him. Just backs his feet up there and finds good distance for the one-two to him and stay next to him and, and, and therefore not allow Marco the room to get his shots off. Marco is the kind of fighter who will keep bringing the heat, confident that he can bring it to bear. It's some wonder about his stamina over the 12 rounds. Congo basically because he's six feet tall. Marco now by the speed and, and, and the agility in his feet, but as that slows down and as the fight... But can he sustain it? That's the key. Marku looked to try and move in on him on the ropes. He took that step in and grabbed a hold of it. Steal half a yard and then spring up with the jab. The fighters do that. He's pulled those shorts up pretty high as well at the front. Up over the... Great off the foot again. I can hear Grant Smith from here saying hit him to the body and, the, and warning the ref about that. Himself here. As I said previously, he will keep the faith, he will keep coming forward, he will back his... Good body shot went in there from Marku. Close as much as he can without incurring too much of the referee's wrath. Knockout by cutting an opponent is a perfectly legitimate way to win. It's not really... Left hook. He's got, and he's got to do that, he's got to keep mixing it up. He can't afford to become predictable because... I think they feel like they get... Lead right, a short right hand, left hook. Try and walk him onto it. It's one of those fights where when you look at the two of them physically, next exactly that. Yeah, Marco's keeping him under pressure, though, making him move urgent. And I don't think Marco will have much on the board. He's in the fight, so... In the red and black with the Albanian... Eagle on the side of the shorts, Chris can say that Congo is ahead at halfway. How far he's ahead could be absolutely crucial. Jab, walk him onto the right hand, left hook, he can't afford... He's got to get his respect, he's got to make... ...his feet with him. He had to travel quite a long way to get there, but it was kind of scurry. You know, before he was holding a little bit and then trying to walk him back, but now he's... he's, he's... Oh, you know, jabbing the head, jabbing the body, use the feints. But to say, there area of him that will move the least. And it just causes him to take that step up. Into the seventh. As he finished that previous one. Uh, opening of the arms and he just gets him twice underneath. You see it again there. 
the needed to happen. Congo's got some, as I said about the previous fight. Lamarco really hasn't had any success at all, and Congo boxing with real confidence. Um, and needs to come in that eighth round because the momentum is with Congo, and we're not too far. Came in. That was fantastic from Congo. Grant Smith was reading the right act of Marku as he sat on his stool. Yeah. It's what he's been speaking to him about previously in the fight. You know, he jabs good, he's mixing it up with straight right hands. Every time he lands a shot, he's rolling out. Well, he's looked good from the beginning, but six, seven, and now eight, he's... He got back into the centre of the ring. Absolutely, he's just got to throw caution to the wind now. They've been warned, they were both told. Do you understand? Do you understand? I think that's a sign of frustration. And Congo just letting his hands go as Marku tries to close in. There was a good left hook there from Marku. But in this instance, it hasn't. But it was a welcome success there for Marku. If you're Marku, you probably... Well, I know I... He hasn't faded at all, Congo. If anything, he's got stronger. The more reckless Marco gets going for it, the more open he's going to leave for Congo. Who's saying that resolution that it will begin to work? Left hand there, then steps to Marco, ties him up, spins him, gets back into the center of the ring. Really good ring. Sent it all that far. Short right hand, but he's found the. Congo is wary of the shots, but you've got to land them. Yeah, just, and you know, we nailed him, we walked him onto it, and it, again... Dip and down, every time Marku gets a little bit closer, then, you know, Marku's having to go over him, and then... Final round, and Marco eats the right hand there. It's not over quite yet, but he has been... Ex Tactics that he applied for the first few rounds of holding, it might not be great to watch, but it's... It... He's always been a fighter who's <laughs> never strayed very far away from the gym hand side. Through the left hand in from the angle. Look at that, it's just tied. Marku still trying to just roll forward. And Marku knows he's got it. You can see him looking for it. But there's the fitness. I mean, we've seen it from Vidal earlier, but this has got a lot more action and been a lot more. Gunns of what has been a good, good watch. Marku is. <laughs>